Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Arrow, episode number three, A Matter of Trust. And trust is the main word and lesson learned in this episode right here. First off, you have um, Oliver and Thea. Oliver is the, is the mayor of the city and, he, and he's still trying to balance his life as being the mayor and being the, the vigilante, the Green Arrow. And he's also trying to and his team that he's a new team that he's forming, um, Wild Dog, um, Wild Dog Curtis, and um, what's her name? Oh, and, and Everly Sharp. He's trying, he's trying to get them to, to, to form as a team and work together and trust him, and, and also he has to learn how to trust them as well. Like he, he makes all the decisions, but he has to learn how to trust their, their ideas as well. And maybe they won't try to do things on their own, like Wild Dog, for instance. Wild Dog is a little bit stubborn, hard-headed. He has a he has an idea of what he wants to do, and he thinks people just execute it no matter what. And and he and, and him and Oliver are butting heads. They have to learn how and Oliver has to learn how to trust him and his ideas, and he has to know how to trust Oliver because he's he's in charge, he's the leader. And Oliver also learning that when because he is in charge and he is the leader. No matter what his crew does, it's his, it's, his, it's his responsibility. The buck stops with him. So no matter what happens, he's in charge. So no matter if it was good or if it was bad, it's his fault. And he's learning that here in this episode right here too. Because he made a decision and um, that went against what Wild Dog wanted. Now Wild Dog had an idea, because he knows the, she knows the area a lot, a lot better than Oliver does, that to get some, to do some recon and stuff like that uh, to find out who this new bad guy is, and then and the new bad guy was um is Derek um Samson played by um Cody Rhodes, and because Oliver didn't trust his decision, something he does makes things even worse. Yeah, so he's because Oliver didn't trust him, even though and, and he didn't trust Oliver. I mean, this is Oliver didn't any faith into to his idea, he felt as though he had to do it on his own, which caused many things a lot worse. Yes. And because Thea made a mistake with as when he, as mayor, it caused her to do something as well that makes things, well, a whole lot worse. Yeah. So Oliver is pretty much learning how to juggle his life as both the vigilante and the mayor, and also learning how to pretty much trust the people who he has in his circle, either as mayor or as Green Arrow, and I, I did, I did enjoy, enjoy this episode a whole lot. I'm liking the tone of this episode. It's, it's, it's the um, it's like Oliver's reverting back to how he was in the first season, so you get getting a little bit of that, but you also are turning and changing to something else as well. And I'm liking the direction that it's going in. Now, certain characters I'm still not on board with, like um, Wild Dog, for instance. He's not one of my favorite characters right now. I'm not really feeling him right at the moment. But maybe he'll turn around because he's a little bit hard-headed and, and people who are hard-headed, people are characters I don't really gravitate towards and I don't really like. Everybody else has a lot of potential that I can see them going somewhere, but him, for instance, I can see him getting killed because he's such a pain in the butt. But the, the, the person who I like the most is Curtis Holt, played by um, Echo um, Cohen. Now he he's he, he's gonna be he's becoming Mr. Terrific, and I am enjoying him as a character. I liked him when he first appeared in the first last season, and I'm enjoying him now. And when he had his jacket on that said "Fair Play" on his jacket, it made me so happy. But then that wasn't enough. When he had his hair braided back and he had that T mask on his face, I said, like, "Oh my gosh, it's him! It's Mr. Terrific coming to life!" And it made ah. Uh, Oh my God, I, I was so happy when I saw it. Now, all he needed was the T-spheres T-spheres around him, and that would have been amazing. Hopefully, they will come in later on. I'm looking forward to seeing that, but, oh, I, I, that, that was the best part of the, um, of the episode for me. I really did enjoy that part a whole lot. I mean, I, I enjoyed the actor as well, and, and his look at his costume, how he looked, fantastic. Now, I'm not exactly sure where this is going to go down further down the road, how, 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 how this team going to come together, if everybody on this team is going to stay going to stay there, or some people might die, I don't know. But right now, I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going. I'm, I'm not interested in how they come, the, the team is learning how to become a team, and it's on the form, and, 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 
and to and to, and to grow. I like to see characters grow and learn from their mistakes and then improve on that and not do the make the same not the same the same mistakes again. Now Felicity Smoke, um, played by um Emily Rickhart Rickhart's. Now I'm not so sure I'm I'm gonna go with Felicity just yet. Because at first I loved Felicity. I loved her. And then after a while I didn't like her at all. So now I'm trying to get into this point where I can like her again. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm still I think the, the character is interesting. And I'd like to see where she's gonna go and how she's gonna evolve on the, on the show as well. So overall, I think it's a great episode. Oh yeah, there's another thing that kind of bothered me. It was about Curtis Hope. Now he's he's gay on the show. He's not gay in the comic books, but he's gay on the show. Fine, that's not nothing wrong with that. But the way they have him sometimes, like he's constantly flirting with every guy he sees or something like that. But he but he always got but he but he, but he keeps saying at the same time, oh I'm a happily married man. I'm a happily married man. I'm like, I mean, quit I quit doing that. If you are a happily married man. Quit flirting with other guys. That's just kind of, kind of weird. I mean, like, it's like, it's like a character flaw. I don't really like. It's like, it's like he's trying to hit on other guys without hitting on other guys because he's married. But it's like he's trying to be unfaithful, but he's not. It's like it's weird. I wish they stopped doing that. That's the only part about the character I don't like. I mean, if he's gonna be faithful to his husband, let him be faithful to his husband. He he doesn't have to keep saying I'm faithful to my husband all the time. That's just annoying. So let's, let's stop that part. But overall. I, I am enjoying the show a whole lot. I have a whole lot of fun watching it. I'm liking this new era of um, Arrow right now. And so, just leave the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Arrow. And if you haven't been watching it, so check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will have a fun time watching it too. Well, that's all, that's all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say. In my dreams and in real life, I am... The Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of people's.